what I went through to learn it. I had a stroke in 2010, and I had a life-threatening disease called uh, Gail Paris syndrome in 2013. When I had my stroke in 2010, it was because uh, I had a hole in my heart. But also, my lifestyle was terrible. I was in politics for many years. And for 12 years, I was in politics. In 2004, I was shifted to television. When I got into television, I was so in love with the work. I was at three and four shows. Wow. Uh, and one show was an early morning show. Uh, I was the one who first, first season of the Magal Kegende in PBS CBN. But I was so in love with the work, and I thought that the fitness that I had in the 80s would carry through. I used to be a bodybuilder in the 80s. Eh. So I thought, oh, since fit naman ako in the 80s, ngayon, and then I ran, which is a fallacy. It's not true. So what happened was in 2010, I suffered a stroke. And uh, the stroke hit my left frontal lobe of my brain. And nothing happened to me physically, but my mind got erased. Parang na hard reset na computer. Parang na. Hmm. But uh, through God's grace, I was praying to the Lord. And I made a deal with the Lord. I said, if you make me well, I will be the best team I can be. I will be the healthiest team I can be. Mm -hmm. And he made me well. You know, after three days, I got everything. I got 70% back. And then the 30% I had to mm -hmm. uh, rehab, no? So, I became a runner, I became a cyclist, I got back to swimming, then I became a triathlete. So I, be, I, I, I did what the part of my deal with the Lord. And then in 2013, at the peak of my fitness, I got sick again. This time, I got sick of GPS, Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's a very rare disorder that affects one out of 200,000 people. The reason would be most of the but it causes total paralysis. So I felt the paralysis happening in my feet, and then it happened in my hands. Being a stroke survivor, I went back to my, my doctor and I told her, is this another stroke that's happening? Look, because I can't move my fingers and I cannot move my feet. Well, we did give her a test. And after about two hours of very painful testing, she told me to give a GPS, GPS racing room. And it was a very expensive, uh, because since we're talking about medicines also, <coughs> the doctor told me, Kim, we know that you're of means, and we're not going to be high But we just want to let you know that it's going to be very expensive. The disease is self-limiting, but the medicine that you'll be using will be very expensive. And we could talk, how expensive? Well, it's medicine called IVIG or immunoglobulin. Um, it would cost, what's your weight, about 155? About uh, 300,000 to 500,000 pesos a day. So you know how many days, Doc? maybe around 10 days. So imagine, if you're a poor person and you get sick with the end of the you die. Mm. You die. Because ultimately, your, body, your diaphragm gets paralyzed. When your diaphragm gets paralyzed, you're not able to breathe. You're not able to breathe, you die. Trivia. Alam niyo ba, any Julie Vega? IGBS. Yeah, the end of But during the time when Julie Vega died, hindi niya alam kung ano. And that means she's pissed on my Mm. Ang mga at chispis, second spray ito na lason, di ba? Mm. Ito sa akulang. Diet. O, o diet. 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 But she, now they know that she actually died of a uh, Gentile syndrome. Mm. Because Dina. nobody knew about that disease then. Now, now they know. But how long did it take for you to get that one? You know, it's funny. Um, I, by God's grace, I was able to heal from my stroke. Mm. This time, I healed again from my gang raising. Oh, wow. But the more important healing that took place was I accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You know, on the third day in the ICU, I was crying to the Lord. I said, Lord, you gave me a stroke. And then you made me well. Now I'm at the fittest point in my life. And I'm ready to join my first full Ironman triathlon. Make me paralyzed. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want from me? And then he told me, I was relying on my power alone. You know, the motto of Iron Man is, I can. I can swim, I can ride, I can run. It was on my t-shirt, it was on my phone, it was on wallpaper on my phone. It was in my, um, my mirror, so I right. remind myself yeah. that I can. I can swim, I can ride, I can run. Only to realize when I was getting paralyzed and waiting to get intubated in the afternoon, that there's nothing I can do that I can. That only God can. That's what they said. I want to get to know more about my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and I've been a born-again Christian since 2013. And that's really great that now, like you said, 